All right, so a couple of things. First and foremost, Cambridge Audio released their Melomania M100s, which look like the logical successor to these. The Melomania Touches, like these headphones, are really good. Use them at the gym sometimes. What's different with these is they're more up to date with lossless audio support, active noise canceling, and a 10 hour battery life, which is always appreciated. They feature custom tuned 10 millimeter premium drivers with neodymium magnets. That's a tough word to say. Class AB amplification, Qualcomm's Snapdragon sound with Aptex lossless wireless technology. Interestingly, the 10 hour battery life can be extended to 16 hours if you turn noise canceling off, which if I'm being honest, I always turn it off. There's also a new Melomania Connect control app and a built-in seven band EQ. And I believe you can, yeah, there's six presets uh, that are tailored to multiple music genres. And there's also apparently an Easter egg waiting uh, listeners within the language selection for voice prompts. So that's kind of cool. I wonder, if, I wonder if it's Morgan Freeman. Can you imagine? That'd be amazing. They're also taking a focus on sustainability this time around too. They've introduced recycled neodymium. I hate that word so much. For the driver, 50% recycled plastic. They're also shipped with plastic-free packaging. That's really cool to see going forward. The next one's from Hi-Fi Man. This is the True Wireless TWS450 earbud. This is a new model with an available suggested retail price of 39 bucks. I like this. This is for me a true gym earbud now. Uh, many of the same sonic benefits of its predecessors due to uh, audiophile grade dynamic drivers and sonic tuning that is typical of Hi-Fi Man products. It has an IPX rating of four. Uh, they weigh about 3.5 grams. It's resistant to sweat and rain and uninterrupted listening for up to 20 hours per charge in nearly any weather. Low latency Bluetooth 5.3 technology, also has Hi-Fi Man's ENC deep noise cancellation. An AI algorithm allows the 450 to filter extraneous noise while hiding the human voice. Huh. AI in a $39 earbud. Yeah. I'm always a fan of getting lower price gear in and especially at something like 39 bucks, which is amazing, that's US. Because like, even though I get to keep a lot of these earbuds that come in for review, cause it's, you know, it's gross sending them back. I feel bad about sweating all over them. So uh, a lower priced product, I wouldn't feel as bad, but you know. And lastly is Bowers Wilkins just announced the signature series for their 700 S3 series of speakers. And it is to the top end of that range. So the 702 S3, they're a three-way floor stander with the tweeter on top. The 705 S3 is their bookshelf speaker with the tweeter on top. And then also this time around is their large center speaker. All get this new blue, I believe it's called Midnight Blue Metallic with a Daytuck or Detuck gloss. The 702 S3 signature is 9,000 a pair. 705 S3 is 4,500 a pair. And the HTM 71 S3 signature is 3,300 each. Aside from the cosmetic upgrades to the new signature series, a lot of internal upgrades have happened as well. And rather than read straight from a press release to you and then completely fumble all of the names too, because some of the names I mean, I try to do these videos as much as a one take thing as possible, but there's noticeable cuts in when I just completely butcher the name of something. So if you want to read up about these, I'll post a link um, just below this video so you can follow that and uh, read about all the necessary or all of the things. See, I just flubbed again. All of the internal changes and upgrades that were made to these speakers uh, for the new signature series. Uh, if you like these sort of videos, uh, please consider liking and subscribing. I really appreciate it. See you on the next one.